Hi, Randy the Mobile Home Guy here again today under a mobile home. Um, today I just want to look at a little bit about how mobile home drains work. So we're underneath the home, um, so we're on the ground here, and we can see like right here is where one of your main drains drops below the insulation barrier, okay, and goes down somewhere on site you're going to have a hole that goes into the ground and it goes into the rest of the sewage system and comes from that there up into the home okay so inside the home everything comes to little joints like these and drops below so a lot of times right here you'll see a clean out it's unfortunate that they did not put one on this one here so it's easier to clean this main thing out which sometimes gets clogged but this one they don't have that um, but you can see so like this one here which is actually broken um, actually goes all the way over to the kitchen okay and then there's one here that goes to the shower and tees over into this main tee. Up there is the toilet, okay? And over here is a faucet, and then there's probably another tub or something that affects. But see, this is how it works there. They drop down into these tees and below the insulation and over. So you can see also, same thing with the piping. Like here's the some CPVC. All of this right here, kind of runs along the floor joist and kind of spreads out from a main central point. So this is going to go over feed the toilet. Here's a couple that go over and feed a sink. This one here, you can see those go over and feed the shower. And so uh, you can see here that right below that is, a, is an insulation barrier, okay? Right below the pipes is an insulation barrier. And then they have this little membrane, little membrane right there. We can kind of see it a little bit better if we kind of look here so you can see here's the membrane the insulation okay and then the drains so um, this is supposed to be inside of that insulation barrier and right over from that is the ductwork okay so that means that that warm environment keeps all these things from freezing on those cold days also if we did have a leak anywhere we could say instead of just cutting out a huge piece of insulation we could cut out a small portion pop our head up in there and we could see almost the entire length of the home just by kind of doing that so you want to be careful when you cut out pieces of insulation you want to just do small sections because this little integrity of this membrane here actually is what keeps that insulation suspended under there if you rip that out you're going to have to repair that which is a very hard job and adding different things is, uh, adding different ideas is not easy, okay? Some things that we like to do, you, sometimes they'll have these little, uh, you can see the, the I-beam there. There's an I-beam just over there. And between those I-beams, they have these little bars right here, okay? And there's a bar sometimes every six feet, sometimes every eight feet. And what we'll do is we'll put, uh, um, a piece of plywood right on top of here and then insulation on top of that which holds it and then it lets that environment stay true so that's what mobile home drains look like